is the rest period. Storage is the energy. What we see as activity is the dissipation of energy. Mm. You know, and we see this with the scales of my eye, which represent the kidneys, where you see the heart and the feather, because the heart represents the storage of energy and capacitance, and the feather rest represents the discharging of energy. And what's happening in the hall of judgment is that is getting weighed against one another. That's how they're able to know your deeds. Mm. And then our ancestors show us with the Yawa cross of the Congo, and even with Kemet, when you see um, Kepara in the morning, right? I talked about the fontanelle. We all know the fontanelle in the top of the skull is the Kepara scarab beetle. This is that red sun that comes up in the morning. That's why the beetle is holding that red sun. That is the birth. That is the child. That is spring. Which is the best sun, right? Oh, yeah. You get out. It's cooling. It's relaxing. It's invigorating. And it's programming all of your chronobiology. You got timing mechanisms in every organ in your body waiting to be tuned properly. And that sun is doing it by way of something called your pupil. And we all know that's the student. So it's right. like, what are we learning, right? Right. So then we go to Ra, which is noon. The sun is above. That's when it's its most strongest, just like Ra is strong. Then you go to a tomb, and a tomb is the old man. And he's, he's getting old. He's wise, but he doesn't have as much energy. That's that setting sun. And then we get to Amun Ra. There's, he's the hidden one. Mm. No light. That's when we're into the deep sleep and we're really doing the necessary regeneration inside of us.